quick shots can be a really handy thing but you're baking in all those settings and they can end up looking like a cheap holiday snap. And the Air 3S has got an amazing sensor and you can get some incredible professional footage out of this. So I'm going to show you how to do quick shots manually and also tweak the RC so you can fine tune the gain and expo to get really smooth cinematic professional footage. So let's hit the road. That's it, we're off again to one of my favorite spots to go and do some filming with the A3S because it's big open ground around this old mansion house, manor house that's disused. So it's really helpful. There's some activity at the back, but to do our filming will be really good. And I can really demonstrate some of these quick shots here really nicely. So let's go and do it. So the first main reason that quick shots don't really work is because you can't choose the color mode. So DJI tends to really oversaturate imagery and over sharpen as well. And that's not always what you want. The second reason is also because you can't control the speed of the movements and the smoothness of them. So we're gonna combat that as well. And you can't fine tune the movements either. What I'll do is I'll do a quick shot move and then we'll do this manually and also we'll change the color modes and you can see how we can get a much better result out of this. So what I'm going to do here is just line up for a nice circle. So obviously we go over to video mode, drop down to quick shots, circle. Three. Two, one. Start our shot. And I'll play this back at high speed so that you can see it quickly. Of course, it is really helpful to be able to use these when you want to just quickly capture something and then use a little bit of it, or whether you're just filming yourself, then that's quite handy because you haven't got to have your hands on the control. But as soon as you're doing a little project for a client, then you want to do something a little bit better and get better finished color results, then there's better ways of doing this. So now what we're going to do is just go over to our camera mode and we're going to put it into D-Log and click down to Style and we're going to take the sharpness off down to minus two, noise reduction down to minus two. Under Control we go to Gain Expo and with the cine mode, adjust your settings here for the different maneuvers and speed of the drone controls. So I've dropped all the maximum horizontal speeds, ascent, descent, angle of velocity, the, your smoothness. Brake sensitivity, I've left that to high because when I want it to stop, I want it to stop. And then with the Expo, I've lowered all of those as well and uh, so when you push the controls, they'll move, uh, react more smoothly. And the control speeds, I've dropped those down as well. And I'll just take the tilt speed up so it's nice and smooth on the tilt. Okay, so with those adjusted, I'm in cine mode, I'll be able to get nice smooth results. Keeping our um, roof in the center, I've got the cross hair lines selected. So to fly this, we now need to move the controls. So if I want the drone to go to the right, I have to move this to the left and slowly turn it. So if I'm moving the drone over that way, I then will need to turn it. So it's looking right control to the right, the left control to the left, and you can see it turns it in towards the building. So to continue that, we'll then also need to put a slight bit of forward motion on there as well. So I'll be turning this one slightly 45 degrees to the upper right and very gently turning the left control to the left to keep it looking 
at the target. Start recording. I'm going to gently drift to the right. We just need to hold those controls very gently. I'm just going to stop it there and we're going to look at another really nice manoeuvre which is the helix. So this will gently circle around and lift up as well. So we've gone from 55 to 57 meters up. So I'm just gonna let that play out. And it's moving slightly further away now. It's gone from 60, 90 meters. And as you can see, it's a lovely shot. But I think we can be a bit more dynamic with it. Now with this one, we have to also use the tilt as well. It's the left hand wheel, which we've of course smoothed out the motion on that in cine mode as well. So the right hand stick, we're going to go to the right and backwards. So it's diagonal 45 degrees. And the left hand stick, we will slightly go forward to the right. So 45 degrees. So this goes up and looks left. So another lovely shot we can do is the um, drony. So let's just perform that so we can see the comparison. So we'll just do the drony, select us. And do this with the 70 mm lens. So now we're just going to do that manually. And of course you can now do more creative things by putting a little turn at the end. So to get my exposure, I'm simply going to tilt my gimbal towards the ground till I get a nice exposure and hit my C2 button, which I've programmed to be exposure lock. And now I can look back up at my subject without it um, overexposing, uh, sorry, underexposing because of looking at the skyline. So now we've worked out some of those principles, we can start doing our own interpretation and mimic some of those maneuvers. So we're going to do a nice reveal shot here. It's like a reverse sort of helix where we're going to start low, come around from behind some trees, reveal our subject and pull up and uh, to get a real dramatic view of uh, of our subject So I've got some fabulous examples there. So looking forward to getting those into the editing suite and having a play. Well, I hope that's given you some good ideas of how to push this drone a little bit more, how to get more out of it. And you've learned a few things there that you'll go and experiment with to get more professional cinematic footage. Now, if you want to see more videos on the Air 3S, there's a playlist over here. Please show me the love, subscribe to the channel here, and I look forward to seeing you over there.